we have completed the chapter number one in which we had discussion on the basics of network theory and now from this lecture we will start the chapter number two that is two port networks and before we understand what are these two port networks we will first try to understand the meaning of port port is the pair of terminals this means port is the combination of two terminals through which a current may enter or leave the network now depending on the number of ports there are different types of networks for example when we have one single port in the network the network is known as one port network and in one port we know there are two terminals so two terminal devices such as resistors inductors and capacitors forms one port network here you can see one resistor and the resistor is having two terminals let's say this terminal is terminal 1 and this terminal is terminal 1 prime so two terminals are there this means we have one single port in this particular network similarly for inductor and capacitor we have two terminals and hence one single port and we usually represent the network by a black box this black box is representing one port network this is terminal 1 terminal 2 and there is one very important point regarding the current flow if you focus on this resistor and if I say current I is flowing in this direction then in terminal 2 that is 1 prime current will flow in this direction so you can see that at one terminal current is entering the network and at the other terminal current is leaving the network so we can conclude that current entering from one terminal must leave from the other terminal so if i is the current entering the network from the first terminal then the same current i must leave the network from the second terminal now when you calculate the net current entering the network you will find the net current entering the network is equal to i plus minus i so the net current entering the one port network is equal to zero amperes now we will have discussion on two port networks two port networks have two separate ports and we give the input at one port and we get the output from the other port here this black box is representing the two port network we have two ports and let's say this terminal is terminal 1 this terminal is terminal 1 prime this terminal is terminal 2 and this terminal is terminal 2 prime and the voltage across terminal 1 and 1 prime is equal to v1 and the voltage across terminal 2 and terminal 2 prime is equal to v2 and the current entering the two port network from this terminal is equal to i1 and we know when the current i1 enters the network the same current must leave the network from the second terminal and let's say current i2 is the current entering the network from this terminal and therefore the same current must leave the network from this terminal and we will assume port 1 to be our input port and port 2 to be our output port now you will ask me why we are having the output current entering the network the input current is entering it is okay but why the output current is entering the network it should leave the network the answer is 
current entering both the ports is the standard notation in the two port networks. Now when you focus on the input port, you will find we have two variables v1 and i1, v1 and i1 and when you focus on the output port, you will find we have two variables v2 and i2, v2 and i2. So in total we have four variables and out of these four variables only two variables are independent and the remaining two will depend on the two independent variables. In the coming lectures we will have discussion on these things in great detail. Now let's move on to the next point and according to the next point the black box should consist only linear bi-directional and passive elements. So the elements inside the black box forming our two port network should be only the linear and passive elements. Black box may contain energy storing elements like inductors and capacitors but their initial conditions must be zero. The black box may also contain the dependent sources but never contain an independent source. So these are the restrictions we are having. Now apart from one port networks, two port networks, we have three port networks, four port networks etc. But in this course we only have to deal with one port networks and two port networks. So this is all for the introduction to two port networks. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.